To avoid missing melanoma, the current practice is to biopsy all suspicious skin lesions. Although most cases of melanoma exhibit clinical clues leading to the correct diagnosis, melanoma can mimic benign lesions. Dermoscopy has been shown to increase the diagnostic accuracy of clinically equivocal lesions, but little is known about its ability to detect melanoma in the context of lesions that appear clinically benign. In this study, we present seven difficult-to-diagnose melanomas in which additional clues provided by dermoscopy increased the index of suspicions and led us to perform a biopsy. This is case one. It's a congenital melanocytic nevus seen on the back of a 14-year-old Caucasian girl. Dermoscopy reveals equivocal combination of colors and structures. Globular pattern is visible at the periphery, grayish to black cobblestone structures at the bottom left of the lesion and blue-white structures in the center and top. The histopathologic examination revealed the melanoma arising within a pre-existing congenital melanocytic nevus. Case number two refers to a banal appearing uniformly pigmented brown papule located on the back of a 45-year-old Caucasian woman. On dermoscopic examination, there is blue-white blue -white veil in the center and brown to black globules with intermingled whitish lines at the periphery. The histopathologic diagnosis was melanoma 0.9 mm of thickness. Case three is referring to a 30-year-old Caucasian woman with multiple nevi and a large melanoma scar on the back. A 1 cm non-pigmented nodule was found on the right lower aspect of the back. Dermoscopy revealed unexpected pigmentation represented by structureless brown coloration in the center and some globular structures at the periphery. Although the pigment pattern is overall unspecific, it prompts us to perform a biopsy. The histopathologic diagnosis was desmoplastic melanoma with Breslov thickness of 1.5 mm. Case 4 refers to a clinically banal pigmented macule on the right forearm of a 23-year-old Caucasian woman. Dermoscopy reveals the presence of a starburst pattern that is typified by pigmented streaks regularly distributed at the periphery. The histopathologic diagnosis was melanoma in situ. Case 5 refers to a pigmented lesion located on the back of a 38-year-old Caucasian woman with multiple nevi on her trunk and extremities. In addition to slightly atypical morphologic features, the lesion reveals dermoscopically the presence of regression structures typified by whitish and grayish areas of pigment. The histopathologic diagnosis was melanoma in situ with features of regression. Case 6 refers to a clinically banal pigmented lesion located on the upper aspect of the left leg of a 64-year-old Caucasian man. Dermoscopically, the lesion exhibits slightly irregular distribution of colors and structures. After four months of follow-up, as seen in B, the lesion shows only slight changes that are only de detectable by comparison with the previous image. The histopathologic diagnosis was melanoma in situ. Case 7 is finally referring to a regularly shaped and pigmented nodule with predominance of pink located on the back of a 53-year-old Caucasian woman. This lesion was clinically diagnosed as a basal cell carcinoma. Dermoscopy reveals atypical vascular pattern, namely dotted and linear irregular vessels, and remnants of brown globules and streaks. The histopathologic diagnosis was melanoma with a Breslov thickness of 1 mm.